Birds. What about the birds? The birds. You're great. You're great. You're great. You're great. Birds are great. Birds are great. What is Spanish for you're great? Tu es excelente. It'd be tu it is. But uh great in Spanish. Great. I'm looking this up. I should have should have looked this up beforehand. Yeah, should have thought about Gran. that. Gran. Gran. Yeah. G-R-A-N. Mm-hmm. Tu eres gran. Yeah, that's good. Ay, tu es gran. Thank you. <laughs> De nada. <laughs> okay. Do you think I could star in a Spanish soap opera? A uh, star? Yeah. Mm. Am I more? Am I not a leading? Am I not a leading man? No. You know, I think <laughs> if you came in as a supporting character, but you know, worked your way like up, like the sexy baker, they'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> no, you'd be like the white guy. Like the <laughs> white. Guy. <laughs> Here comes the white guy, comes the white and guy. all he says is, "You're great." Yeah. In Spanish. <laughs> tu eres gran. <laughs> Wouldn't it be good though? I'd be really good at it. <clears throat> I think you'd be great at it. Thanks. Great. Positivity, pass it on. Okay. Positivo. Now I'm just trying to say Positivo. Spanish. Positivo. <laughs> I couldn't have said that more rednecky if I tried. You know. Qui? Qui? Qui page? No. Okay. Hola. <laughs> Hola. El pero caliente. <laughs> now we're just offending all of our Spanish speaking listeners right no, now. No, that's all three hundred thousand shitty of them. white people trying to speak Spanish. That's what it is. That's your favorite thing in the world. No, but it is entertaining. It's very entertaining. Here, I'm going to take the headphones off right now. Let's get into it. Welcome to the Hug Life Podcast, everyone. I'm Monica Nevy. And I'm Mike Coletta. And this is our podcast, and it's a great time. It's a great time. It's a great time for podcasting it's a great right time now. for podcasting, <laughs> you guys. Just the, the air is clean. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. <laughs> it feels so good. It's clean. Um, I don't know if I'd say clean. I just realized I got to plug my shows up top. Can I plug my shows first? Is that okay? Yeah, do it. Go. Okay. Go. Uh, this Wednesday, the day this comes out, I will be in beautiful Seven Cedars Casino in Squim, Washington. It's spelled S-E-Q-U-I-M. Don't struggle with Google like I did. Okay? That's how it's spelled. <laughs> Squim. I'm going to be in Squim. And uh, that's at Seven Cedars Casino. And then this weekend, I will be at Chadwick's and Medford, Oregon. And someone yeah. better offer me meth or a threesome, or I'm going to feel like I didn't live. Yeah. That's how it's supposed to be. Those are the two things that they're known for mm-hmm. meth and threesomes. <laughs> you know what I heard is a little rumor? You know, a little birdie told me named JR. A little, a little birdie named JR told me there might be an In N Out burger there now. Oh, really? I've never eaten an In N Out burger. And You've if it's never? true, I've never have. And if I, it's true, I'm going to do a 20-minute segment by myself of just me eating it, and I'm going to plug it in the middle of this podcast without you knowing. Well, now you're going to know because I told you. Yeah. And I'm well, going to be like animal style, and I just use just a munching. I guess and then that tears. I hope <laughs> there's not really an in and out there then. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm so good. <laughs> is, that what El- is, is that Elvis eating? Bird? I'm so good. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing but animal style. <laughs> Cheese on my fries. Ba-da-ba-ba-da. Hey, <laughs> hey what are you, that's where I'm at, Medford, and then Seven Cedars. That is on where Wednesday. you're at. That where it's at that gives us your level, I think. Yep. What are you that, doing this what week? You got going on? Yeah, girlfriend. What are you doing this week? Oh well, Wednesday, I will the first at seven thirty. Be at the Lord's day. <laughs> Every day is the Lord's day. You guys are doing it wrong. Wednesday is church day, you idiots. Um, <laughs> Anything to get out of work. <laughs> <laughs> What was it? Fuck. Uh, Wednesday. Oh, first, 7.30, I'll be at the Seattle Parlor for a showcase for the Big Sky Comedy Festival. Hooray! And then right after that, at 9 p.m., I'll be at the Seattle Comedy Underground. I'm sure they love that I'm plugging both of these. But with um, a friend of mine that's up from L.A. He's doing his own show. So I'm on that one. Excellent. And then this weekend, I will be at Tacoma Comedy Club hosting for Colin Moulton. Yay! Yay. Those are very good. Thank it's you. A very, you're a very busy person this weekend. I am. In this week. Pretty busy, yeah. Probably won't even see you once. Probably not. That's fine. I'm going to call you, though. Well, you're going to be in Medford. Yeah, I'm going to call you a lot, Call though. me while you're I'm eating. I'm you. In and out. FaceTime. Right you don't have a... You Let's should, Skype. I'm going to buy you an iPad. While you're so you eating in bed. <laughs> while I'm eating in bed, that's going to happen. If they, I actually get really bummed now if I go to a hotel and it doesn't have two beds. <laughs> <laughs> you got, yeah, you have an eating, eating bed, bed and, and a and sleeping bed. Yeah, it's going to... Yeah. An eating bed and eating while sleeping bed. It's all going to be really, really good stuff. You Can guys. you eat in your sleep? Uh, that'd be cool. That'd be like a superpower that I, d- I, I, I mean, want. I guess you don't know, but <laughs> sleep eater. There's got to be a sleep eater, right? You got to be able to. I'm, I'm googling that right now. I sleep think that eater could be dangerous. What if you sleep choke? eating? It's real. So if you get, I mean, if you sleepwalk, people get up and like make food, maybe. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Sleep eating, sometimes called sleep-related eating disorder, that's not as exciting. Is yeah. a para somnia event in which the subject awakens during sleeping hours sometimes multiple times during one sleeping period and eats or drinks often excessively 
What if you just woke up and you were like hammered? <laughs> <laughs> and you were like, I didn't drink at all last night. What's happening? Oh, uh, yeah. Sleep me woke up and had seven shots of Jameson. <laughs> Dude, it, just, it just looks like you had a huge party in your but house. It's just, it's you. just you. <laughs> How did I keg stand in my sleep by myself? <laughs> I know, man, that's pretty good, though. That'd be amazing. Um, yeah, anyways. Yeah. Uh, yep, those, and those are your shows? shows. And follow me on Twitter at Monica Nevy. And I am at me, Coletta. It would mean a lot to us. It makes us feel good in our inside parts. There is one thing that I'm going to plug in that I, I don't really like talking about these things. But I've started uh, writing a blog post once a week on my website, monicanevy.com. It's called Monica Mondays. If you want to read it, that would be cool. You're directly competing with Mike Mondays. Yes. That is not Michael real. Mondays. <laughs> there is no Michael Monday. Yeah, that's why I'm winning. <laughs> what? Because it's Michael 24-7 yeah. on Twitter. It's just random stuff, but it's fun and I like it. So if you read it, that would be fun. Read Monica's post. She talks about this week about her, her breast friends. Uh-huh. That's uh, friends that are chickens. No. No? It's just friends that let me touch their boobs. Oh. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> All the yeah. friends. Mm-hmm, Some true. unwillingly. <laughs> <laughs> unwillingly let me. Uh, um, <laughs> oh, don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe to the podcast. Just write a story in there. Give us five stars. That means a lot to us. Write a story that's not even about us. Not even about us. That's Anything fine. you want. Just tell us what's going on with your day. If you want to describe just some sort of historical event in a review, that would be awesome. Just that write about the Transcontinental Railroad. Maybe we know. don't know <laughs> about. You know, Something positive. Ooh, yeah. That makes you happy in history. Happy history. That could be another segment. That could be. <laughs> so many segments, you guys. So uh, many segments. So many possibilities. That have to be alliterations, that's all. Yeah, they ha- that's the <laughs> rule. Monica Monday's happy history. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, you can like us on Facebook, and then you can email us at huglifepodcast at gmail.com. Yes, with your questions or yeah. charity th- events th- or... Yeah. Anything you want. If you just want to say hey, you can do that too. You can send Mike a dick pic if you want. You can send me Only to a Mike. dick pic, like, but not of your dick, of just like your favorite internet dick. <laughs> send me one that you really like. Someone else's dick. This is dick. a great dick, you know? Like, I saw this dick <laughs> on Pornhub, and I want it to be a dick to send to my friend Mike to share it with him. And I'd be like, that's a great dick you like, found, Claude. Tell us I don't know, Claude? some guy named Claude's emailing me. Wow. Maybe. I don't know. Emailing us at Hug Life. Nope, just me. No, dick pics. But it says... Also, okay. in the sub in the subject line, put dick pic for Mike, but use the number four, and then say, no Monica's allowed in all caps. Okay, then I won't. And you won't open it. I won't open it. Because mm-hmm. that might ruin your day. That's right. And then you can judge whether you want me to see it or not. Yeah, I'll be like, is this dick earned Monica's will attention? It <laughs> ru- will it ruin all other penises for me? I'll be like, oh, nothing's as good as nothing's the one that Claude that one. sent us. Yeah. Okay. It's got a sombrero on it. <laughs> dick puppetry where a guy puts a sombrero on his dick and tries a face. What if he did a whole play? What if he did a whole play <laughs> a whole with, play his, with dick? his dick? A one dick show? What? <laughs> this is, uh, this right. is already well, getting this really went really, way downhill. Really, really great quickly. stupid start. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I think. That's fine. I feel like I had something else. Well, we, we should. We, the super secret stand-up show happened. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was great. <laughs> did it. That went really, really uh, well. It was super fun. We had a lot of guests. It was great. Yeah, and that was uh, the most people we've had there I mean, as an audience, since the first one, yeah, we had to open up the other side. Yeah, it went really, really well. I was very excited about that. I was super happy, too. Everybody was great. Mon Bon was great. (laughs) Was I? You were great. Uh, Thank you. I I, I mean, I I don't want to toot my own horn, but I was pretty great. You were super great. Thank you very much. Organizing a list. For putting putting everything together, because I was not helpful. I'm You're aware. Super helpful. I'm aware. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sorry. No, it's fine. Uh, Andy Haynes dropped in. Yeah. Uh, Alex Falcone dropped in. Yeah. Dinah Foley dropped in. Yeah. Um, uh, Jordan Dahl dropped in from Denver. from Denver yeah. and Dinah's from Portland yeah. and Alex is from Portland. It's great. And then and we had uh, from LA. and then we had everyone else on the show: Rachel Walls, Scott Lossie, Anthony Calderon, and Adam Norris. It was a good time. Yeah, it was. And uh, it went really well. And I'm super happy how it's going. And I'm really happy how that show's going. We raised going. 38, and I'm going to put two of my own dollars in there. Make it even 40. Make even 40 for the more foundation yay and they help kids during the summer they go to camp and stuff so i think it's an appropriate time summertime's a good place to camp you know what else is a good time for to turn my apartment into a sweat lodge because i am dying right now yeah i think it's fine you think it's fine i'm good i got bad joints how what does that have to do with sweating (laughs) when it's warm they feel better Oh, so you like hot Old weather. people know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Where are my oldies Where at? Where are my old people at? <laughs> Where are my golden Knees oldies? feeling good in this sauna, let me tell you that. <laughs> you just walk uh, up to an old lady, hips, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> just walk away. 
<laughs> I know. Well, I my body is super messed up, and so I'll be like, I you play get, sports. Yes, so I get out of chairs. Like so sitting on the ground, I can't sit on the ground for very long, and people will like older people. My grandpa gets mad at me, and I'm like, it is not. <laughs> I'm not like doing this to rub it in your face. This hurts. <laughs> I know that I look yeah. like it's not supposed to, but it does. See, having a body like mine where I don't do a lot of physical activity means it's very healthy. It feels really good. Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty sure Just all your joints probably look way better than mine. My joints look real good from the inside out. <laughs> hey, girl. I see hey, girl. Joints. You like these joints? <laughs> look at my knees. <laughs> I was just going to send you a dick pic of someone else's dick. <laughs> <laughs> my dick's got a knee isn't that like a hack that's, a, that's like a, a hack knee? that's a hack roast dick joke like his dick's so big it had a knee oh you know that i didn't know that but i could see why it wouldn't um, it's like i've heard it like 80 times in my lifetime my favorite. well on bieber's roast they called kevin hart shack's dick multiple times i was like <laughs> we get it he's little shack's dick's huge got oh it. my gosh <laughs> when i remember when i was a kid i would watch cribs a lot and Shaq <laughs> had a heart-shaped bed. Yeah, it was it gigantic. It was, it was like two kings. Dude, and his wife was only, she's still alive. They're not married, <laughs> though. That's what I meant. Uh, um, she's only like 5'3 or 5'6. They're not married Something anymore? Like, mm-mm, they got divorced. Did she drink too much Shaq soda, got sick, and wanted a divorce? Blamed yeah, him for that's it? Probably exa- in that's probably sleep. how it got broken up. It's the worst. Marriage, it's the worst. You learned that last episode. Die. He just fell asleep on top of her. I feel like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got that a little late, but I got it. <laughs> you just fell asleep in a I thought over. you were just going to keep going over it. No. It been fine. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Um, our last podcast with Corey Michaelis, I really enjoyed. Can we talk about it? Sure, yeah. Because I thought it was really, it was like one of the deeper, more thought out, positive episodes we've done. Right. And right. I, and I, I thought that was good. Well, and I was genuinely excited about those things because that is kind of where this whole thing came about in my mind. Like... I don't know. I think positivity is seen as like a weird hippy dippy kind of like spiritual kind of thing. And it doesn't have to be like that. You know what I mean? Like I think normal assholes like myself can still be positive. Right? Yeah. And really tight assholes like me. (laughs) (laughs) Are we comparing? Are we in a competition now? Yeah. What kind of asshole are you? We're taking that quiz today. your asshole? (laughs) How tight what is your kind asshole? Of asshole? Buzzfeed. He's like, I got bleached. Like, what? <laughs> you are a bleached supermodel's asshole. <laughs> You're so polite and always smiling. <laughs> That's so the description. Sorry. But secretly, you hate yourself inside. You're a dirty trucker's <laughs> asshole. No one wants to be near you at all times, You're and you a have a lot of hair. Diet. <laughs> you sit for too long. <laughs> Okay. Anyways, That's what we're gonna make our own quiz. <laughs> uh, we should make what kind of <gasps> asshole are you quiz? Yes. I'm looking. I'm gonna look up after Please. this. Please. Okay. Our own now, quiz. along with the dick pics, Claude, can you send us some various assholes so we can? Yeah. What kind of assholes? Put them. Send some descriptions, Claude. Thank you. Up. <laughs> put them up. You know. It's making a lot of hand no- I'm making a lot of hand signals. You're today. really um, excited or sweaty? I can't tell. Both. Very much both. That's true. Um, I, I get excited and I sweat and I sweat because I'm excited. Um, <laughs> nope. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that Corey uh, was great, and I was really happy with it. Was my, my hair on the microphone? Yeah, get it Thanks all. Thanks for helping me out. Okay. Um, but yeah, I really, I love one of the things that I liked about it. I liked. We talked about relationships a lot, which I feel like we d- haven't really talked about before. Well, we've. T- I feel like we've talked about relationships, but it's never been that good. Like, yeah, that was not the positive angle I was going for when I wanted to ask about marriage. Like, I wanted us to have to work for it. But he was basically like, no, we had a really good marriage. And I was like, fuck off. Like, what are you doing right now? Your expectations were shattered. You and your goddamn happiness. happiness? No. No, and they had, like, I felt like it was the most responsible divorce I've ever heard of. Like, just like, yeah, you know, I I think we're just better friends. Okay, well, I still love you. Bye. Like, what? (laughs) Ah, damn it. Ah, Why? (laughs) What the fuck is this shit? What kind of romantic comedy are you living in? (laughs) Oh, very romantic. Oh, romantic comedy that includes divorce. I will say. Uh, yeah. Do you want to continue to talk about... He's no, not here, but no. I keep pointing to him. I'm looking at um, him like he's here. I know. <laughs> Corey, I miss Corey, you. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, that... So I went this weekend. Uh, our friend, Devin Badu, who's... Uh, he does improv comedy sports. He gave me free tickets to see the premiere of Tig Notaro's new movie, Ooh. like the documentary Tig for the Seattle International Film Festival. And so I saw that yesterday and God damn it. I have like restored faith in reality, I think. I'm not sure though. Are you saying you're doing a positive movie review right now? Oh, uh, positive. Oh. Yeah, movie. see it when you can. Definitely, definitely see it. Because it's like... What's it called? If Tig. Just Tig? Yeah. It's like a one-name movie. Right. It's like a She's biopic. a bad bitch. Um, well, so it's like, uh, 
all you, this shitty stuff happens in a row. Like, I don't know if you're all aware yeah. of like the stuff that's spoilers. That, so she was sick with like a an intestinal disease called C diff that was like had her hospitalized. Then she gets out of the hospital a week later. Her mom dies because she falls and hits her head. It's not like she was sick or anything. Like it's very unexpected. And then like two weeks after that is when she finds out that she has breast cancer. And then like the day after she finds out is when she does that Largo set. Oh yeah. Where she just yeah. like talks about it and crushes. And so it kind of goes through all of that. And then the year after that, and you get to see a lot of stuff and you're just like, Oh my God, everything sucks, but it's going well. And then there's a love story that happens in the middle of it. And I was like, God fuck. And she was sitting right in front of me at the, Jig like, while, yeah, while I was watching it. So, which was really interesting to kind of watch someone watch a documentary about themselves. Is it the way I watch my comedy videos where I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like that. I don't, not really. She was, I mean, I don't know. Um, but then at the end there was a QA and a and I have never seen someone fucking crush a and a like that. Like just killed people it. were dying laughing. Was, then the whole movie's really funny. Just her talking about stuff is funny. And that's why yeah. that whole set was so funny because she was just talking about it and then Louis C.K. was the one who was like, you should release it as an album. Like that was so good. And so... And it went like viral without, no, it didn't have anything. Like you're not allowed to bring video cameras in there. So nobody the had, Largo? yeah, nobody had video of it. The only thing that made it like next day, it was like going viral was that everybody had tweeted about it and they were just like, oh my God, this is like historic. But she recorded it video. No, they recorded the audio there oh. for her and, and they just did that because it was her show. And so they just did that for her so she could have it. But it was other comics that, that were like, you should that. put it out as an album because it was that good. Just then they How just like did it. That, uh, I think it's 45 minutes, I think. Oh, wow. But um, yeah, so then it's just like all of that stuff after that. And it was one of those things where I was like, yeah, see, everything is shitty. And that happens. And at the end, she's like happy. And I was like, fuck, this is real. <laughs> it's not even it's some shitty real. movie that somebody made. This is real shit. You're getting into it. <sighs> so, so what's your how many hugs do you give it out of 10 i don't i mean in comparison to other what would be a 10 to you well you just flipped it right back on me there didn't you yeah i didn't was not ready for that <laughs> right, at all. This is why this how about we base it off your favorite movie love and basketball so that would is be a 10 for you movie? um is that your isn't that your favorite movie i mean it's one of my favorite movies but not what would you give love and basketball on the hugs again? i would probably give love and basketball a nine out of ten and what do you just think about things like documentary fairly I probably give it a nine. Also, it was, Ooh, but and I'm one. Love of, and I don't tig. like reading. Uh, tig and basketball because it um, accentuates like my flaws. I'm not a good reader, uh, but also that I have a hard time getting into fiction. I like I like real stuff, and so watching this was like like I the frustrating things about time. fake stuff couldn't apply because it's real. So it was like every time we talk about nerd shit, you get really upset. Yeah, I know. So that's how I know you don't like fun <laughs> stuff, fictional things. I don't like fake things. You're living in the real world, Monica. Yeah, it's going and great. I'm in a fairy <laughs> land. <laughs> yeah, it's going great. It's super awesome over here. No, <laughs> but that documentary did make me go, oh, fuck, man. Good stuff does happen eventually. Shit. <laughs> I don't know. So but it was good to see it. Gave you all the feels on your insides? Yeah. She was, <laughs> this is my favorite part. She was laying in bed getting ready for, like, in the hospital bed getting ready for the double mastectomy. Like, they're going to cut her tits off. And <laughs> it's... This is a more glamorous way Todd to Todd Barry... No, she says it like that. But uh, Todd Barry is in there. Sarah Silverman was in there. And she's like, do a set. Will you guys just do a set for me? So she's, like, laying in the hospital bed. And Todd's like, no, I'm not going to do that. And Sarah's like, I will. And gets up and just, like, starts doing random jokes. It was so funny. <laughs> and Tig goes, this is the most awkward show I've ever been to. It was, like... <laughs> I don't know. Just that whole, like, seeing into that was really cool, I guess. That's funny. Anyways, good movie review. All right. Nine out of ten hugs. Yes. That's cool. I wish I got to see it. That's really awesome. Where did they show it at? Well, the one I went to was at Pacific Place, like, at the AMC. Oh, cool. Yeah, and then she was there and, like, talked afterwards. And then, but there's, the day before, it was somewhere else. It was, like, Central Cinema or something like that. That's very neat. But, yeah, so they pretty pre neat. Pre premiered it here. Premiered it here. Mm -hmm. That's cool, though. What did, I I I, uh, I didn't go see any movies this weekend really. I uh, <laughs> did a show at Easy Monkey Tap House. That was pretty fun. Yeah, how was that? It was pretty good. I really enjoyed it. I like I like performing there. They had a delicious berry cider. I tried. Oh, that really got the juices flowing a little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about sugary drinks usually, but this one when it's like fruit flavored and it feels like it's natural fruit, oh. like you know. Yeah, when it's, it's not like orange flavor, orange flavor. <laughs> it's like <laughs> berries and stuff. It's good. Yeah. When too much sugar makes me sick. Makes you get a tummy ache? Yeah. 
Right. Doesn't give me a tummy headache. Ache. You know why I talked about that cider right there? Why? Because of our positive spin topic today. Yes. Let's get into it. Let's bring it in. You know what our positive Coming spin topic is, Monica? Our... Cider? No. Fruit? It's drinking. Booze. Yeah. Because uh, drinking has a lot of bad connotations to it. Just look at my Alaskan family. Um, yeah. Boom, roasted, Mike's family. Uh, or, you know, <laughs> mistakes that I've made my entire life. Whatever. Boom, uh, roasted, Monica's <laughs> mistakes over her entire life. <laughs> yes. But uh, I think drinking has some positive things to it, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, the w- first thing, the most obvious thing, I feel like, is it makes you social. Sure. Marriages and relationships have started because of booze, right? They have definitely ended because of it also. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the point. You're not really helping no. me. Are you are we, are we doing Sorry. devil's advocate? Do you want to do that? No. No. So I will tear drinking I apart. No, I, I believe in your ability I mean, to be negative. I mean, do you want to start? <laughs> <laughs> so I struggle with it every day. Um, Where do you want to start? I mean, we could start with, you know, maybe what people would think is our negatives about it and then maybe try and flip those. Or okay. or then do a positive let's, let's, at the end. Can you guys you know, see me let's plan just this be out? super prepared. For this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, probably shouldn't have drank before this. Um, <laughs> just like kidding. I don't know. Do you ever think that people that people have got to like be mad at each other and then drink and then make it up? I've seen that happen before many a time. Among dudes, you mean like they were fighting before, but then yeah, when they're drunk, they're, they're, drunk like, they're like, oh, "I'm sorry, hey man, I love you. Let's let's mouth kiss." Yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot of mouth that? kisses that wouldn't happen without alcohol, for That's sure. True. I've kissed Mitch three times. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and Mike was sober for all of them, but Mitch was not. No drinks. <laughs> <laughs> no drinks. Uh, Just love. For sure. There's definitely a lot of uh, sexual activity that wouldn't happen if there was uh, no alcohol. You, I feel like sexual activity is a positive, right? Hopefully. I mean, don't want to get into dark territory, but if it's... Right. Wanted. Well, like you said, <laughs> right. If it's wanted, then yes. Uh, consensual activity, then absolutely. Um, I think, yeah, it makes every. I don't know. I think the vibe in a in a establishment, maybe where everybody's drinking, is a little looser, a little bit more fun. Looser, a little more you fun. Know, you can say the neighborhood bar. I have, I have, I have inappropriate a things, things. I have a lot of things listed on here, and I actually thought. Oh, you good, found you just uh, were no, sitting there I, thinking the, about drinking. I thought about drinking at work um, a lot. And, uh, <laughs> I think about but, it every day. <laughs> <laughs> every day. Uh, um, but I thought we should. A good idea to start would be maybe how we started drinking, like our our own evolutions. Our superhero origin story of drinking. Like, when oh. was the first time you drank? I don't know if that's a safe conversation. Oh, it's not a safe? Because yeah. I could do mine. Go for it. Did okay. you drink in high school? Yes. Yes. Six, 15 or, or 16. A f- few times. A lot more than I should have. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it kind of, like, calmed me down, I think, later. I think so, too. If that I makes think sense. I, well, I was pretty, I had a fairly unhealthy relationship with alcohol when I was younger. And so... I think now sometimes I can be more responsible about it because of that. Like I know what is happening when it's happening. I'm like, oh, I'm entering a blackout. Great. Um, <laughs> here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> uh, I need to go home now. Choo-choo uh, trains leaving to blackout station. But it also makes me not want to. Like I think a lot of people want to. They're like, oh, I can drink a little bit every day or something like that. Like I'm totally fine not drinking at all during the week because I'm like, man, I know what this. There's really no reason for it. <laughs> But uh, I think you also have a little bit more uh, value of like good alcohol versus just like, oh, oh yeah. I'm trying to get shit faced because you know I'm was 16. Drinking, well, you know what I was drinking? In Monarchy high, piece of shit. No, yeah. Mike's Hard Lemonade. Yeah. So many Mike's And where you're like, hey, ladies, you want some of my lemonade? Yeah. <laughs> it was my lemonade. That's why I drank it. I also was the guy <laughs> that would crush, Mike's hard. I would crush beer cans on my head. I was <laughs> that <you> asshole. <laughs> Really? I, yeah, I was. Wow. In high school, I would Why take my friends? shirt off. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'd get drunk and I'd smash beer cans on my head because I was that kind of douche. You That's know what awesome. I mean? Well, I will say that I was uh, a stallion. Yeah, <laughs> a naked a one. Stallion? Frequently, naked. <laughs> frequently running around house parties just. In my undies or whatever. In your underwear? Yeah, it was like a thing that I did. I don't know if I just got hot or what, but it was. Everybody's like, "Oh, Monica's naked again!" Like it was just a thing like, that Monica's I did. Monica's naked. There was again. pools around sometimes. That's always fun. They never did that with me. They're like, "Mike's shirtless." Oh God, why? Everyone go inside. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, just leave him out here. But until it was he's always done. like I would just run around for a while and then put my clothes back on and fall asleep. That was it. 
Yeah, I There's nothing really permissible. I, I, I drank but. a lot of different alcohols. Like I drank Mike's Hard to Start, and then it was like all about spiced rum, Captain Morgan's, or yeah, Admiral Nelson. We would, yes, or the, uh, the Sailor Jerry's. Ooh, Anything on a boat, so fancy really? Yeah. I always get Admiral Nelson because it's like Jack. It's like yeah, that the is the shittier one. Captain I was trying to Morgan's help everybody off brand cousin. It's plastic. Yeah, <laughs> it's <pretty laughs> delicious though. Um, and then I off brand cousin. We don't invite him to Thanksgiving yeah. anymore. He's not. He doesn't come to the pirate moots or whatever. Um, a the moot pirate? is like a meeting, like oh. an ent moot. From Lord of the Rings. Anyway, um, uh, <laughs> I didn't have sex at all until I was 20 years old. That's not related. Uh, <laughs> so the beer can crushing didn't help you. It did in not that help me at all. Okay. And then I uh, would do this thing called space traveling, where I'd put, I'd, I'd, I'd uh, take a Franzia, boxed wine. Uh, any starting anything with that yeah, is, is and bad. You take the bag out okay. and you blow the bag up as much as you can because that valve goes two ways. Do you know that? And then. <laughs> You open the valve and it shoots out like a wine bong, essentially. Like it's okay. like pressurized and it shoots out at you. And then you put the box on your head and everyone would make space noises next to you and we called it space traveling. <laughs> Where I'm does that trip that end is what right I want to know. Where does that space travel end? Uh, with my friend throwing up red all over a bathroom yeah, <laughs> or there you purple. Go. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. So did you prefer uh, refreshing white? Or uh, oh, it was the rosé. Like it rose was the rosé. Yeah. I just like that it's called white. That's not a type of wine, by the way. <laughs> white wine? You mean Chardonnay? No, nope, white wine. White. Can I have the white? Uh, <laughs> um, can I have the white? And, and that's funny. Is I, I look back on those times now, and then like right now, I see so much wine snobbery that I'm just like, ugh! If these people only knew. If these people only, only knew. knew. Yeah, I want uh, the Pinot. And I'm like, give me the red one. <laughs> like this is uh, these varietals, and you're like, well, yeah. Well, what have? What do you do with the box afterwards? Do you put it on your head? What do you do? <laughs> what do you do? You you're cry like, into sir, it. Sir, sir, we're in a box is really good to stick your whole face and cry into. <laughs> yep. Collects the tears. No one will know. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows. Why are you taking that box outside? Shh. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> I also remember definitively taking my first shot of gin in high school at a house party and then immediately getting up, walking to the backyard and throwing up in this girl's bushes. <laughs> like it was so bad. I couldn't take you it. You didn't the like taste, it? Yeah. I like the yeah, pineapple. Now okay. I drink it okay. Now I drink gin and tonics all the time. Really? Not all the like time. Like a fancy yeah. lady. Like a, like a fancy person. I like vodka soda. That's like my go-to drink at this point. Vodka, vodka is my preferred. Crystal light? Uh, yeah. That is good too. What do I uh, drink now? I drink beers. I just drink really beer. See, I think it's safer, even though I beer. Can, yeah. Yeah. I, I, if I drink, if I drink the same beer all night, I'm totally fine the next day. Right. I, dude, my hangovers now. Maybe that's because I drank so much in high school, but are fucking terrible. Like, there's no positivity on that yeah, end of it. I, I'm like, fuck over. you. I hate you so much. Yeah, is what I say to myself like in the, the morning. Is, <laughs> you want to drink in the summer. You want to go out on boats and yeah, drink and God, swim. It feels but good, But then man. when you wake up the next morning and it's hot and you're just disgusting and it's like the worst you're thing. like, oh. I have to keep drinking or else yeah. this is going to be the worst. And then I'm just like an alcoholic for the whole summer. There is something about boats and water, though, like you were talking about. Yeah. That it's fun to drink and it then go is. swimming. It's so unsafe, but it's so fun. It's so fun. Who cares? No. I just need it. It's my favorite. Favorite. drink a little bit see I, and yeah. everyone makes fun of light beers like coors light and stuff but that's a party beer you know because you can drink a bunch of them you can <laughs> that's you what can it drink is. like 10 or 12 right and, and you're be, like this is great <laughs> and then you'll be talking I to drink, everybody drink, and that's what i drank in college was a lot of bush light but i remember oh, yeah. finally so I, I i did go to the hospital on my 21st birthday okay um uh yeah and but you told your girlfriend you loved her i did well that, that's a later in the story oh sorry, 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 um, sorry. Uh, yeah wow monica uh because well, I haven't heard it. But uh, I drank like this thing <laughs> where my friend Ray would give me three shots, and he's like, "All right, one's water, one's vodka, one's tequila, and you got to give one to someone else." And like it's like a game. I don't know what yeah. it was called. And I did that game like five or six times, oh, and I never shit. really won. Like I never got the water shot. <laughs> and then I just they, my friends took me home. They dropped me on the floor, and I had a the point. Floor. Like I had a go. point two six. That's what I blew. Which is high, yeah. But then I heard people like my size blowing like point fours and being fine. But I don't know. Like I didn't drink that often. I my, I only say this like I preface this because, uh, I uh, like faintly remember right before I blacked out going I might need to go to the hospital or something. <laughs> and then I just woke up and I was there. And I was like, it was I didn't have a catheter. It wasn't anything bad. Yeah. And I got home. And then what I what did they do? Just like keep you there? They just pump me full of or? fluids, okay. and then um, I didn't actually throw up. While I was at the hospital because I got most of it out of me. Um, but uh, it was a bad morning. It was a really bad morning. <laughs> but yeah, the, it, before I went to the hospital, I was throwing up in a toilet, and at first I peed in front of my girlfriend who was just sitting there watching me. I just whipped it out and went, and then I threw up, and I turned to her and I go, "I love you," and then I threw up again. Oh my god. <laughs> 
because I'm a hopeless romantic. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, no, you're like, what's oh, happening? You're like, you. don't leave oh, me. Don't <laughs> leave. I woke up actually. I woke up and she wasn't there, and I was really freaking out. Like, and then she just slept on the futon because she's like, you are disgusting. And I'm like, that's true. That's very true. That that's accurate. True. Like, I was like, just. Uh, it was like one of the worst mornings I've ever had. I hands down. Ugh. But yeah, ever since that moment, though, I really, I've hit it hard, but I've never hit it that hard. You know? Right. I feel like I used to go in with the attention of you're like, we're going to get fucked up. And then you're like, I don't remember anything. No, yeah. But uh, now I don't go in with that intention. I'm like, oh, we're going to drink. Okay, I'll have some drinks. But it's never, sometimes I make mistakes anyways, yeah. but it's never like, I need to drink as much as I can right now. Exactly. It just totally changes your mindset. Take shots. No, never. Oh my I don't God. ever I have, fucking want to take shots. I have friends that shots. like to do that, where you're like Ugh. drinking and you're like, oh, I'm just drinking the same beer every night. I'm feeling good. And then they're just like, I got 20 shots for all my friends. And you're like, why are we doing this? Why? <laughs> no, this is, yeah. you're just giving well, them away to people you don't know. Phone. That's what I do. Oh, yeah. Hey, how are you doing? You want this? Hey, welcome to the podcast. <laughs> Which really is not a um, <laughs> safe thing to do for the other person. When I'm like, hey, how, you want this? Do you <laughs> want this? Here, I swear to God, I didn't put anything in it. Just, it's fine. You want it's it? It's fine. Yeah, the best is when you like give them away and uh, people are just like, what are you doing, bro? I bought that for right, you. I know. I'm so upset right now. You could have got me anything else. Yeah, you could have got me a beer better. and I would have been your or friend. Fucking instead, you got me, me tequila. First. Anyway. The worst is when you have people that make get you those shots that are like sweet mixed things. They don't have a lot of alcohol in them, but they always taste like butt. Right. Those it's are my least favorite. Too, yeah, or it's something that you don't like. Like a certain people are like, oh, this one tastes like licorice. I'm like, fuck you. We're no longer friends. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, there's a <laughs> shot I heard of at this place at the Mexican restaurant. I didn't have it because I was high that night from the show, that gateway show. It was the day before my birthday. And it's where you take a shot of tequila and then you take this shot of like vinegary pickled stuff and it and it completely wipes away right. the alcohol Pickleback taste. Pickleback is a great That's what thing. it's called. That's what but it's no, called. Yeah, it's just pickle juice. But you uh, then still like have to taste <laughs> or take a shot. Like that's not... You're like, cool, I didn't taste it, but I'm still going to hate myself in the morning. <laughs> yeah, because tequila is just bad news all tequila around. Tequila is bad news. So what is your least favorite drink? Mine is tequila. Tequila, absolutely. Okay, cool. We're on the same page. I think some people, I've had bad experiences with tequila. I think that's why. Like, just, ugh, throwing up. But some some people like tequila a lot. You know, I, yeah, a lot. And uh, I a hate lot. those people. So <laughs> no, I, <laughs> People uh, are idiots. What's your favorite drink then? Vodka soda, you think, is your favorite drink now? Um, My, f- like... Vodka is my favorite. I don't know. I just drink vodka soda because it's like the least <laughs> calories. <laughs> calories. Yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, but I like like vodka don't, crayon don't, and don't stuff or whatever, right you know. I like I'm my not. P- favorite drink is probably like mixed drink. Mm-hmm. It's probably Jack and ginger ale for some reason. Ooh, I do. See, I do like and I know you're not vodka ginger mm-hmm. is delicious. I'm a big lime person though, so you got to be able to put some limes in you there. Put some limes in that Can thing. Can you muddle some you limes, put the please? Lime in the yucca hole in Monica gets fucked up. Put the lime <laughs> in the yucca hole. Is that the song? Yeah, no, that's pretty accurate. Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much nailed it. Hit the nail right on the head <laughs> that's there. It. There it is. Uh, but yeah, I um, so I like that, and I like beer. But really, any beer. Like I really have no preference. Well, I will say that this is the most positive spin that I can get out of this. Is that my family, just a big group of watered down alcoholics. So <laughs> we <laughs> a lot of Bud Light happening. No, but um, OBL. But I do think that we bond over that quite a oh, bit, yeah. and just like oh, I like this kind of beer. And my cousin started like brewing his own beer and stuff. So we all get to try it. And it's just like a thing. I don't I know. I think it's negative it's only when people don't have self-control. Like that's really what it comes right. down well, to. Well, and it can be really bad in those situations. Yeah. And obviously like drunk driving and also you're making poor choices. Right. And that kind of thing. But for the social aspect of it, you see why people have been doing it for thousands of years. <laughs> right, <laughs> like, yeah. It's just Well, and that's fun. how it started too. <laughs> yeah. Like Greek symposiums or whatever, that that was what they did. They just like drink well, wine and Well, also a lot out. of the cultures, uh, the water was tainted, so you have to make alcohol to drink because this is like the water's too bad to yeah, drink. Yeah, and everybody lived for a super Anyone long time. Everyone just gets drunk uh, as fuck. <laughs> super good Athens be off the chain. Yeah, what up, girl? What up, girl? Um, here's another <laughs> thing I wanted to... Uh, I heard all the things people do to drink. That doesn't make any sense. Um, I'm thinking about places where y- you drink. Okay. So we already have like lakes, parties, barbecues. You have to have beer at a barbecue. Hell what yeah. are you doing? Um, sporting you events. Do? This is a thing. I don't really like to drink at sporting events. Mm-hmm. Only because when I drink, I have to pee a bunch. Uh, and, and then, then you when you're miss, there. You're going to miss some of the game. Yeah. Or I'm just going to be like in a crowd. My, for me, yeah, it's the crowds. True. I don't like it. Yeah. Cause, okay. And I know women's bathrooms are worse than men's line-wise. Ter- oh, line-wise, yeah. It takes a little bit longer, I think. Yeah. That's why. People be shitting and they're not telling anyone. Um, well, that People be crapping. 
I don't know. Do you guys <laughs> tell each other before you do that? I always walk in the bathroom like a giant cut of bed. I'm like, hey, you guys, hey, I got a shit. No <laughs> manners. I'm taking a shit. Blah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. That's what I do. And then they get, just get out of there. And you're like, uh, we got to take our children out of here. And you're like, go in a stall. <laughs> like, the urinal's so much better. I can just sit and then immediately stand up and walk it's away. It's like I'm shitting in the urinal. Oh, God. Oh, man. I'm like, go I'm going to go in the women's bathroom. I'm just pooping in the urinal, screaming Soto Mojo. <laughs> yeah, so alcohol's totally a good thing. Um, yeah, no. alcohol's great. No. Um, um, sporting events. What else? What else do you like to drink at? Uh, camping, family Camp- gatherings, family Thanksgiving gathering. and Christmas. Weddings. We drink a lot. Weddings. It, have you been to a wedding without booze? It's the saddest thing Dude, in the world. it's the worst. I love going to weddings, and that's pretty you much the love. reason because it's a lot of people. You love the idea of marriage. You're really mm, into it. Well. You know, no, that's what you're doing. Yeah. No, when I'm around it, I need to drink, but it's uh, <laughs> I'm like being, it's just basically a big party and everybody's you know hanging out eating Dude, drinking that wedding a couple of weeks ago was pretty off the off the chain yeah yeah you know I've never really been to like a bad wedding I've been to a couple where I'm like all right all this talking is getting on my fucking nerves can we w- dance please the wedding that I mentioned last time about cleaving wedding. your wife was the one that was the bad wedding at oh to. cleaving yes yeah that was the bad wedding and it was I really just anything where they say cleaving your cleave wife your wife it's probably yeah, not like, uh, yeah, something gonna be a good time not polishing jewelry bad misogynistic metaphors that were not good yeah that was pretty bad yeah polish but, uh, them bowls <laughs> 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 what are you saying i hate my life it's um, okay it's okay you're the best thanks favorite drinks we already went over that all the things do people do to drink like people do a lot of things to drink i've i've used two flasks what do you mean? Into oh. in like to sporting games mm-hmm. you done that yeah you know the my, my favorite uh, sneak in method is the white trash. Put the vodka in the plastic bag and duct tape it to your leg. Wow, yeah, that's, that's pretty. That's my uh, favorite. <laughs> that's my I've favorite. Done water bottle and then inside the vagina. No, I'm just kidding. Inside the. <laughs> 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 the, the old and water bottle butthole your trick. Waistband. That's the old hidey hole <laughs> trick. <laughs> You're like they have beer in here. It's not that big a deal. <laughs> uh, no, inside the. I waistband. don't want to pay eight dollars for a micro like brew. A lot of places though they. They will pat down men, but they won't pat down women. Hmm. So make your ladies sneak it in. Ladies, but don't put it in your purse. Sneak in beers, not in your vaginas, though. Find a better way. Whatever it takes, girl. Girl, whatever it takes. <laughs> I always you put it in between my boobers. There. Oh, there you go, like a Coca Cola. Yeah, like a Coca Cola <laughs> between my boobs. <laughs> Still my favorite Can hashtag. Crack and Coke. Okay. All right. Here's um, the <laughs> next topic I have that makes the drinking positive to me, and I find this fun. Some people are very against this. <laughs> Super into drinking games. Go. What do love you think? Love drinking games. You love drinking but, games? But I will say that it gets dangerous because of my competitive nature. You do get very competitive. Like if we're going to play a drinking game, I'm going to win. You are. You do. That's, that's your mindset. Which usually means that you're less drunk if you win. Right. Because in beer yeah. pong, you make more you, cups the other team's beer drinking. Beer pong, I get extremely competitive and excited about when I win. Yes. And I actually played that for the first time in like years, two weeks ago. And uh, like I... I, it's so amazing. Like, we, yeah, we played some. I like games in general, and they're like a little bit more fun when you're drinking. So it's like this perfect fucking combination of things. But I'm okay. Did you when you played beer pong? Did you have like people that would always do the rules thing to you? Yeah. Where they like change the rules or something? Like, like, don't the, play that way. You made the middle cup on your first show. You gotta take your pants off. What, you're like, what the, the fuck? fuck? My wa- my least favorite beer pong rule is if you that. don't make a cup, you have to sit under the table. Yeah, troll. That's my, the troll. Yeah. The troll rule. Motherfucker. So mean. It's dumb. Yeah. And then it's like, can you blow or finger or whatever oh, the fuck yeah. and all and that just, like, shit? I'm like, look here. Guys, finger, girls, just blow, because it's misogynistic game, sexist. and we fucking hate everyone. We're, uh, we're frat boys. We're frat matter. boys, and you best not leave your girl attended, bro. <laughs> Dude, did you just try to blow that? <laughs> <laughs> like a dick, but it's a cup, and I'm stupid. That's yeah, my frat so boy beer impression. pong's super fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I we make we go to Chelan every year for uh a week with my family your fam damley we have a clan. A beer pong tournament oh. and it's like me and my cousin versus my dad and my uncle and then like my aunt and my mom and then my grandparents were a team it's uh you know we just do it anyways we make them play games you make a big a mo- i've told you many a time how i want to join the nevy family yeah there's but a lot of people who have been trying they, to get they, in there they want me i don't know they, <laughs> um i'm kind of upset they would that probably it was trade me for you <laughs> kind of upset that it was it was ron's birthday it was and you didn't tell me it was the fox's birthday Sorry. and i I, I mean, I was going to try to 
get him something nice, yeah. like a mouth kiss or something. Maybe that's why I didn't tell you. That's why you didn't tell me. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Dad, yeah, I didn't bring a gift for you, but Mike's not going to kiss you. Mike's so. here with the old smoocheroo. <laughs> yeah. like, you want to know what I got my dad for his your birthday? Dad. Are you sure you want to know? Let me guess. Okay. Six pack of Bud Light. <laughs> no, I did have to make something, though, which I thought oh, was you made something? pretty nice. What is it? I made my dad a pan of uh, pot brownies. What? Yeah. Dude, uh-huh. did you put the butter into it? Like the butter and the wheat and infuse it in together? I do uh, the vegetable oil that already goes into the brownies. I simmer weed in that first and then put that vegetable oil into the brownie mix. Uh, it works pretty well, I will and say. Is Ron a fan? Oh, yeah. Ron's a big fan. Big fan. Big fan out, Ron Fox. <laughs> well, because I brought him and I was like, I made you brownies. And he's kind of like, cool. And he knows, like, he's been he's trying like, to, like, get off sugar and stuff. Like, and he's like, thanks. And I'm like, they're pot brownies. He's like, oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, that's great. Well, this is a refreshingly I told, nice gift. I mentioned it, like, at his, like, birthday dinner. I was like, I was like, oh, yeah, we I made him pot brownies. And everybody kind of giggled. And he leans over to my cousin. He goes, she's totally serious. <laughs> <laughs> she's not lying. Totally. Like, she really did that. This is great. <laughs> she's a good daughter. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> she's picking up what I'm putting down. You gotta, you gotta make something that's a good We're parent gift. And then, and then drugs. And then drugs, yeah. Um, that was okay. So I think what we've taken from this positive spin thing. Yes. We're going to wrap it up. I think it's about self-control. Well, here's the other thing. A lot of commercials coming from alcohol. Some of the best commercials maybe ever. Oh, like the Bud Lizer yeah, horse yeah, commercials yeah. where I start to cry. Um, sure. Just openly weeping. I mean, that, that one wasn't that necessarily best the one I was going with, but you know. The ones with the big boober girls? <laughs> Listen, I can't, I can't, I say boober and I start laughing. <laughs> big boober girls. <laughs> I'm always surprised why there's less big boober men in those ones. <laughs> why is that? Where's should, that I should guy? try out for one of those commercials. <laughs> you should. Let's write one. It'll be funny. Uh, and then you smash beer cans on I have a Bud Light can between my, my boobs. And I'm shirtless. You're trying to like pour it in a girl's mouth. Like, yeah, <laughs> body shot. And then it but slips out of your tits and hits her in the face. And then she be hates funny. me. It, yeah. would, it would be comical because it's slap, it's slapstick. It's slapstick. A little slapstick beer <laughs> comedy. Anyways, I think uh, some good commercials come out of that. So I think good commercials. Yeah. Um, for me, oh, go ahead. Sorry. Well, because they can't, you can't put anybody drinking anymore. Did you know that? In, in the beer commercials? In beer commercials or alcohol commercials, you can't actually show people drinking. What? So they've had to come up with like, do you remember those Bud Light commercials with the giant Bud Light bottle and they're like running down the beach together yeah. or whatever? Like that's why, because they're like, oh, I can't drink it. Well, and they'll just, they'll so all get it'll, be a, <laughs> it'll be a love story. It'll be, uh, it'll be just straight up lunacy up around here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyways, what else, what else did we come up with? Well, I think we we came up with that it's makes, it gets people social. Yeah, let's uh, let's get social. That's a good thing. Um, I think for it, it, like a lot of families, that's like what they do. <laughs> like I think yours. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, and some people it's Nevi probably the way that you unique. can get through your family. Oh, yeah. uh, we didn't even stuff. talk about holidays. Yeah, like seasonal Christmas drinks. Oh God, I'm not a big fan. There's of, a reason they're so good. Um, what much we call it the eggnog with the booze in it. Are you a fan of that? You know, I'm not a big eggnog person. But that's, you know, I'm not either. what do I, what I that like bo- that's a seasonal drink though, right? dark beers. You put beers. booze in that. You put booze in eggnog? Yeah. Seasonal dark beers are good. Yeah. What, is, what else is it? Anything cinnamony, I feel like, is cinnamony. very... Cinnamony. Uh, like uh, I'm a big fireball? You just take a straight shots fireball all day every grandma, day? My grandma does really like fireball. Well, just you know. sip it right out of the glass. Grandma there. does not care. She doesn't fuck around. Uh, <laughs> I'm a big fan of hot cocoa with schnapps in it. Like a oh, homeless yeah. person. What about Bailey's? Yes. Oh, yeah. Bailey's milkshakes. Have you had that? Yeah. That is a remarkable thing. I can't have. Oh, well, we could figure it out someday. Ice cream anymore. What if we did a protein shake and put Bailey's in it? <laughs> <laughs> is it the same thing? And I put it in the fridge. Maybe. <laughs> we'll you get the taste, it. but none of the texture. You get a smoothie with Bailey's in it. Um, <laughs> smoothie. Uh, but yeah, I think it really all depends on the person. But it seems to be like, I don't want to say that as like a, because we seem to say that a lot. But I think, yeah, it makes pe- the big social aspect of it. Like, that's why drinking's around. Yeah. And, and here's the hard part. Uh, some people should not drink, for sure. Yeah. Should not drink. This is the one thing that I think, uh, let's keep it positive, okay? So if someone tells you, yeah, I don't think I should drink, I should, don't 
bother them about oh it. Oh my gosh. After that, that's the totally just right. leave yeah. them alone. Okay, that's like the there's a reason. Anyone should take from this. There's a reason, and then you get around people who like are clearly like, oh god, I'm borderline. Like, am I drinking too much? I don't know. And then one person comes up and goes, oh yeah, no, I don't drink. And they're like, fuck, good for you, man. Good yeah. for you. And you're like, why? You're doing you just the right don't thing. Don't do it. You, <laughs> and I've actually had some good nights as a DD. Hell yeah. Like I actually have a, I still have fun going out with people. You wake up and you're like, oh, I feel great. Right. And then you're like, look at you assholes. And everyone's just <laughs> like, uh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So be I a actually, DD. Don't judge people for not drinking. Let them live their lives. Right. They could be and pregnant. And you do drink, like, it's a social thing. You don't have to get fucking hand bone. Yeah, but you could be pregnant. Yeah. So there's... That, that, we never mentioned that until just now. <laughs> uh, that's pretty remarkable. <laughs> Are you ready to do the drinking quiz? Yes. All right. It is a drinking <laughs> quiz. I like that. Yes. It's... What should your signature drink be? That's the name of it. Monica has hair in her <laughs> armpits <laughs> and she's picking it out. I was driving. Sometimes my hair, my head hair gets just stuck in my laundry sometimes. Mm-hmm. And I was driving and one's just like flapping around <laughs> out of my armpit and I got to pull it out and it was gray. And I almost maybe, maybe you yanked were, the maybe, wheel maybe, over. Maybe no, it's I because didn't. you were, you put an elderly woman in a headlock. And well, that's then why. I was like, she's got long hair. But then I was <laughs> like, maybe that just is my armpit hair. I don't know. Dude, I, have, I do know. Why would I you not know that? I have no me. idea what's going on in there. I never check. <laughs> I never look at those gray armpit hairs. <laughs> um, I have gray hairs on my head. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm turning into Reed Richards. I have a couple. I do have a couple. But uh, let's look at each other. Let's uh, let's inspect each other after this, just to be sure. There's like one spot. I don't even see any on your head. You're Good. gray. It's because I. You're gray. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're gray. <laughs> It's like, if we had Richard Gere on the podcast, you're, you're great, great. You're great. You're gray. You're gray, Richard. Seriously, Richard, you're look gray. at me. <laughs> look, just look in the mirror. All um, right. Where do you like to drink? <laughs> this is oh, this quiz is called What Should Your Signature Drink Be? Where do you like to drink? S- somewhere I can gossip, somewhere classy, somewhere with character, somewhere where they know me, somewhere with bar snacks, or somewhere that's open late. What do you what do you pick? I picked somewhere with character because I'm a person that likes a classy like character like a good story like a good funny like uh, a good fun to place to drink you know what i mean i'm gonna say that my favorite places to drink are where they know me where they, they just know already you. know what your drink is you feel safe you know you feel like if you go in there you can talk one of my best friends is a bartender so i'm like oh i have to you a big fan of the show cheers go in uh yeah I've never really watched it Classic. that much. But it's, you it's know, everyone knows your name. That's fantastic. And they're always glad you came. No, but that's also, that doesn't necessarily have here. to be an establishment, you know. If you, I, I prefer drinking in small gatherings or at barbecue or something, Dude, then everyone knows you there. That is the definitive thing for me. House parties Fuck over yeah. bars, 100%. Dude, I just want to play games, really, is what comes out. Oh, that's why yeah. in the South, so fun, because they have cornhole. so many bar games, like cornhole, cornhole. giant Jenga, Shuffleboard. Uh, Jenga. horseshoes, lots of stuff. All right. I love it. All right. You ready for this next question? <laughs> yes, I think. <laughs> Who is your ideal fictional drinking partner? Oh, geez. Dr. John Watson, Dr. Mindy Lahiri, Ooh. Lucille Bluth, Leslie Nope, Don Draper, or Nick Miller? I'm trying to think. My whole thing is, I wanted to choose Don Draper... But he's not a really good person. Right. So I chose Leslie Nope. So I think that, like, I originally want to pick that one, but I'm not going to lie. I think she would get me too fucked up. Like, I think just her positive attitude, she'd be like, we'll have another one. I'm like, no, yeah, you're right. We will. That's what you're doing. You're just running around naked like the old days. Running around naked, me and Leslie Nope. I mean, that sounds really fun. That sounds nice. uh, I'm going to go with Lucille Bluth, actually. Because she she she, knows how to drink. She's like, I'm going to be drinking this whole time, doing my own thing. (laughs) You, I got classy stuff, though, if you want it. Kind (laughs) of, that's what I'm. Describe. I, I like moms. I like, <laughs> I like, I like I drunk moms. drink with moms. All right, describe drunk you in one word. Oh Sincere, God. generous, fabulous, chatty, morose, or messy. Generous. I'm gonna. I will. I will buy you a goddamn car if I've been drinking even a little bit. Well, like I've I. You've tried. I've tried to get a, you to buy me a car. I will buy I'm, things. I chose chatty. Generous. That sounds like a, in a nicer way though. But I'm <laughs> saying like I. Just, I, chose I will buy you everything. Because I'm already pretty loud, and then the alcohol just escalates it. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty good. Yeah. I, I <laughs> am I actually lou- louder than I normally am when I'm drinking, and I'm not used to it because I'm so quiet. So You're then I talk. You're a little bird. And then My I don't notice. People are like, shh. I'm like, what? Oh, God, I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Pick a glass. A pint glass? A highball? What's a highball? That's like the... Uh, like a cocktail glass, right? Oh, like the a stein? But it's like smaller. I don't know. 
a champagne flute, a tumbler, a fish bowl. A fish bowl. Um, champagne flute. I like to pretend that I'm classy. I'm going to choose a stein. Okay. Got a big handle. Less chance to drop it. That's good. It's a good thing. Yeah. Hangovers are brutal. Spent in the bathroom. Oof. Something I like to avoid. A part of life. A sign of a good night or a headachey. I chose something I like to avoid. Yeah, I mean, that would make the most sense, but... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with brutal. <laughs> brutal. Yeah. To- totes brutes. Yeah. How expensive is a night out? <laughs> Not too bad. Happy hour, bro. Happy hour. <laughs> <laughs> My money always runs out. Discussing money is vulgar. No mixer keeps it cheap. Under Oof. 20 quid. This is definitely a British quiz. <laughs> oh, um, How many quid? I'm going to say it never runs out, but I, dude, if I start drinking, then I will buy everyone everything. So then I end up spending a lot of money on So much money. I, told you, never mind, I can't even tell that story. But <laughs> I was at a wedding last year. And afterwards, I bought everyone everything. Like Nerf guns and drinks. Like and people would be ordering cars. shots and I'd be like, get his attention and be like, just put it on my tab. <laughs> just put it like a fuck. I think I'm famous, I think is what it is when I've been drinking. I'm like, everyone has a crush on me. I'm and super famous. I'll buy money. you a bunch of stuff and then I'm going to take my clothes off and then leave. <laughs> so <laughs> there the you Monica go. Monica style. Yes. Um, my money always runs out is something that I could get along with. I always do. I picked under 20 quid. But really, thinking it's like dollars, that's what I chose. Right. I don't really know. Um, my money doesn't run out, though. I just... I'm going to say happy hour, I guess. Because I feel like that's something I would be like, I got I got it. I don't make any money, you guys, if you didn't know that. I have no money but at you just all. Love happy but hours? I just love... Well, I think I just like buying people the things. The feeling of and buying then the someone more a drink that I'm drinking, good. the more I want to do that. The feeling so of being like, hey, I got this for you, bae. And they're like, oh, thanks, boo. Oh, I got you. And I then guess. you give them a drink, and then you guys kiss. Okay, well, that's never really the intention, but... I, I kiss mean, everyone I know. Okay, They're well not really into it. But yes, and no one likes it. This <laughs> is my favorite part of it. Pick a hungover <laughs> owl. <laughs> and it's just four, nine pictures of owls. <laughs> one's got one eye closed. Yeah. One's got his head sideways. One's got his head sideways. One's profile. Beautiful owl is profile. Is he just staring out the window like, what did I do? This other one's like giving you a weird crooked face. And then this one in a blanket. Kind of thing. <laughs> yes. That's one of my favorites. And there's an angry owl. Some of these owls don't look hungover. They just look like owls. One. one okay, I'm going to pick that one with the red eyes. Which one is that? Which which that one that looked like he woke up and smoked weed? On the far on the right middle? On the bottom left. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, those those eyes don't yield yellow to me because I can't see colors very well. But oh it's fine. shit. Sorry. No, it's fine. No, it's fine. Um, they're not the yellow, they're orange, that's why. <laughs> oh. I got I got a I got a middle one with a, a, a I the Did you do one. this one earlier? I did do this one earlier. Is, did you get the same thing? I not? got the same thing I got last time. Okay. You want me to go first? Yeah. I got a bottle of craft beer. Okay. A bottle of craft beer says you appreciate the work that goes into making nice things <laughs> and you want to support people who do that work. Appreciate it also says nice you're a beer fan and an informed one at that. But I hate beer snobbery. Let me po- point that out. That's fine. Yeah. But I think that's, you can still enjoy a nice craft oh, beer without being a dickhead. Yeah. You can. Yeah, you can. You're like, oh, the tannins <laughs> on this beer. Oh, what did you get? It makes me hate myself more. What uh, did you get? Long Island iced tea. Woo woo! And the first word in the description is just woo hoo! <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. It just says woo hoo, party time. Am I right? A Long Island iced tea is 100% good vibes, and so are you. <laughs> <laughs> Just watch out for the sugar headache the next morning. For a similar effect, true. try a pina colada. You know what? I do love daiquiris. Anything that's been blended, I'm like, you're right. I should probably drink this. Um, I d- we went to Mexico once, my the Mosh and I. And, uh, the Mosh, coming at you live here. It uh, was a mess, I will say. And it was it was a good mess, yeah, or a bad a mess? Miami Vice. Is oh, my gosh. I'm hearing a really weird noise. Just a second. Oh, it was your. It was you touching the mic. I just wanted to be sure. Oh, did that do yeah. that the no, whole don't time? Don't touch. No, did, have you been holding it the whole time? <laughs> no, but I did a couple times. Oh, well, it's fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> okay. It'll be all good. Um, I just wanted to make sure that this mic was turned off because I was on all the time. Am I, I think it's called a Miami Vice. It's like half strawberry daiquiri and half pina colada. 
Oh, and wow. they mix it. It's fucking great. It's the best thing I've ever Dude, had. Dude, Long, Long Island iced teas, those people. In a that. pool. In a pool. Yeah, yeah, you need to drink those drinks in a pool. Right? In a pool drink. Yes. I love, first time I had a Long Island iced tea, I, I literally went on a seven day bender with my friend Quinn, and we just drank for a whole week, and we just started day drinking every day. Yeah. And it started with us going, let's change. go to this bar and not drink that much. And then we just. And it and started with you going, woohoo! Yeah. Woohoo! But um, I actually. <laughs> I'd never had one before, and I'm like, this tastes really good, which is really bad. Cause yeah, because like, there's so much booze in and it. And you have no idea. It's Ugh. But it's an amazing thing. But it, it, it represents your That's when you go out with the intention, like, yeah, we're getting fucked up. If you order a Long Island iced tea, you're like, this bitch has some stuff She's to do tonight. She's going to get crazy. Yes, those are AMFs. <laughs> oh, man. Ugh. Adios, mother... Fucker? Friend. Mother friend? Mother friend. <laughs> Adios, mother friend. Adios, my finances. <laughs> <laughs> That's way better. And that's the name of this podcast is Adios My Finances. <laughs> Happened late, but it came in. Yeah, it came in strong. Um, you are you ready to do a charity? Uh, yes, kind of. I don't know. This is, more of a, I don't know. this is more of a call to action, but I heard about this when I was in Denver, when I was in Denver, visiting Denver. my family. And they have uh, an organization there called 20, I don't know if it's 2030 or 2430. It's a children's foundation. Um... And so they like raise money to help kids. Um, but they do this thing called suitcase party. Okay. Right. I knew this already. Which sounds it's a party. really naughty, but it's, I mean, it can be maybe. But so they basically, it's like $150 for a ticket. Right. And then you go and it's open bar, big party. You can stay in this hotel, whatever. But you pack a suitcase for the weekend because somebody gets drawn like two people to go on a trip like like uh to mexico is where the one that my cousin went to right so they (laughs) so you go and you have this big fun party and then somebody gets to fucking go to mexico or wherever and so it's 150 dollars which is a lot i don't know if that's how it is every time but it was this time and so then everything they raise goes to their specific foundation but then somebody gets to go on a trip like that's totally worth it and you get open bars open bars worth it he's like paying 150 dollars for a party and and you and you donated to a charitable cause right so my thing is if you're in denver go to one of those if not let's get one here i want do I do one. That. I think that's cool. I would do that so much. Right. It'd be so amazing. And I bet that they probably got a lot of that stuff donated, like the trip, the trip and, and stuff. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. So it's probably, yeah, everybody wins is what I think. Suitcase Hurry parties. Everybody wins. Suitcase parties. What's the name of that charity again? 20 for 30. 20 for 30. I will uh, send it to you. We'll get a website link up to that. A website? I said like, a, like an old. The 2030.org. We'll uh, one of those website links that goes on the <laughs> internet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's Denver Active 2030, right? And mm-hmm. uh, it's so it's DA 2030, and I was like, Duh 2030. Duh 2030? <laughs> That's the newest ESPN series, yeah, yeah, 2030. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's about children. <laughs> um, <laughs> But hey, that's uh that's our podcast. That's our podcast for the day. Yeah. Yeah, we hit the Come time. We were, this is great. We made it. We you made guys it. are great. Um Mike's beer great. and alcohol's fun, but in moderation. Be responsible. This is just, I'm hoping that Especially I'll listen to this track. later. Is, did you hear it again? I don't know. I keep touching it. Anyways. Don't touch just it. Just talking about my boobs. I don't know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and we love you guys. You're great. I love you. You're great. You're great. You're great. Hey, hey Richard Gere, you're great. Hot bugs are great. <laughs> Bye. You're great.